We want to welcome you guys to L3 Perspective. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Glenn Davis. I'm sitting here with my guy, Cameron Macias. It's your boy, Killer Cam. This is it, man. This is it. This is it. A dream now becomes a reality, man. So I'm super excited. First and foremost, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Uh, for uh, just who you are, who you, what you bring to the table, man. I'm, I'm excited about this journey that we're about to embark on. And uh, guys, grab a seat, strap up. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful ride. Uh, you know, L3 perspective, life, love, and leadership. Uh, I'm excited about this. Super excited to collab with you. And man. <laughs> No, so I, I'm 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 so happy. Hey, <laughs> finally made it happen. This is, I mean, with us, it's a two month process. I mean, for you, it's two and a half year process. And this all started over the kitchen table when I was saying, "Oh, I want to start doing podcasting again." You were like, "I have this idea that I've been sitting on for roughly two and a half years," and man, I can't wait to talk about it and to make it happen. And here we are. You know, I took all the lessons I learned from before. Uh, you know, I love the concept, the L3 perspective. I was like, oh, what would the name be? I was like, oh, I love that. Life, love, and leadership. It falls into every category of our lives. And ultimately, you can't have enough conversations about the three of those things and how much they really impact, you know, what we're doing and how we do it and why we do it. And so um, I'm looking forward to the journey for sure. And um, yeah, man, I mean, so it's, so your concept, your idea, your brainchild, your whiteboard started off. Let's, you know, let's start it off with, with life. Where, where, where are you at? Yeah. So it, it's funny. You talk about the whiteboard, you know, sometimes we can have an idea, right. And, and, and not execute it. And I'm a, firm believer that everything happens for a reason and the timing that it happens happens for a reason right and so uh but the life man there's it's it's so much right it's such a, a broad topic it's, it's such a broad topic um and but 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 life i feel like life is all about learning right i, I feel that you know different different aspects of life you know whether it's uh family related whether it's uh, you know finances you know uh navigating through life is so many lessons that you learn uh through that process right and and so so many people are striving for success and everybody has their own definition uh, to success but like it's about learning right so that you can become a better man a better woman a better you know father you know wife husband whatever that is and so life itself is i feel is about the relationships right and so um doing going through that journey of of reaching for success i when you think about the people who are successful many of them don't climb that ladder by themselves right and so with our network of individuals the people that we've been able to collab with through our the course of our lives i feel like when we are, are inviting these individuals and so many people can take so much away from the lessons they've learned and give, receive practical principles so that they can become a better version of themselves. And so, you know, Zig Ziglar has this quote, you know, when he talks about learning and is like, if you're not willing to learn, like you won't grow mm -hmm. essentially, right? But if you're determined to learn, no one can stop you, right? And I, and I believe that. And I believe that part of uh, this platform that we have with the podcast is is helping the individuals to become a better version of themselves just from that one topic. Right. And so obviously we have the love and life. I mean the love and leadership, but that's the life piece of it, man. But what what are your thoughts on on life? Uh and just that topic alone, dropping it into the podcast. So I think my first thing is um we're going to have to train you not to hit the mic. Glenn's still learning the art of talking with your hands, but in a confined space. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, man, I mean, with life, 
we know we we go through it and i think too many times um Every like you know, especially like all these things on social media is like you know, you know, I'm just gonna keep to myself and do all these things. Like mm-hmm. I ain't gonna talk to nobody. Like I don't need a circle. Like I don't need friends. Like, bruh, like you are an animal. Like, do you understand that animals need friends or companionship, all those things? And so, like through life, it's like I'm all about you know, uh, collab over compete. How can we win together rather than how can I win by myself? You know, I would rather collectively help 10 people make a hundred thousand dollars than make a million by myself. Mm -hmm. Like that, that, that's the mentality. And, and in order to get to that point, you have to live life. You have to meet people, you have to experience, you have to fail, you have to win, you you know, all those things. Um, You know, I had a conversation earlier with a group of airmen where I was, you know, helping them learn about coaching and things like that. And, um, that's what I told them is you need to let your airmen fail while you're training. And that's a part of life. That's you're not going to teach them to be independent thinkers. If you're not letting them experience one of the fundamental things of life, which is failing. Now the, the goal though, is to fail forward. Mm. Don't just fail and not learn a lesson. Cause then, yeah, you're just wasting your time. Um, and so when it comes to, you know, life and how we're all affected by it, I mean, obviously we're all living it, but you know, in a general sense, but right. like, are you, do you have a life? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> you know, Absolutely. and so, I don't know, that, that's where I feel about it. Um, you know, and, and once you talk about all three topics, life, love, and then leadership all combined, I think it, they really fall into every category of life. And, and I'm just excited to kind of explore that. That's, that's, uh, and that's one of the reasons why we kind of connected those three, the life, love, and leadership, is because love can even just kind of talking on that, you can talk about it uh, from from an uh, you know, intimate standpoint or intimacy, right? And so, but it's, it's deeper than that, right? Like the, sometimes it's about loving the thing that you do. Sometimes it's about loving yourself, right? Self-love. I know there's a lot of people who are, who are constantly battling not loving themselves enough. And so again, the the people are guests that we'll have on, even just talking about that topic, man, I think that it will help and heal a lot of people, right? And so again, just going back to the overall concept of this is just to add value. I feel like, thankfully, my purpose in life is simply to add value to people, right? And so now with the collaboration of you uh, and, you know, the, the, the circle of people that we have networked through our lives, we'll be able to touch so many people and that that's a beautiful thing that is where i feel you know when you talk about your purpose and living your purpose that's the joy and the happiness uh that i'm that i'm grateful for so and uh man i'm 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 super excited but want to hear your take when it comes to to love because obviously like i said there's a wide range of love so i would say ultimately like love isn't everything so, have you seen the movie Collateral Beauty? I have. I have. <laughs> a while back. <laughs> this is a big moment for Glenn. Glenn doesn't watch TV. <laughs> and so, the fact that I finally found a movie reference reference that he um, knows is a, is a major big deal. So, as you know, like in the you know in the movie, they say like like love is is not absent from anything at any given time. You people be like, oh, love don't live here. Mm. Love is there no matter what. Um, the thing is like, what stage is that love in, you know? And so, and that's whether it comes to something like relationships. Um, that's when it comes to something with your job. I mean, how many people start out saying they love their job and then all of a sudden the love has changed, you know, and, and so forth, or like even just sitting outside and enjoying the, you know, loving the sun on your skin. I mean, it literally falls into everything and anything. And and, and it's an interesting conversation to have when you're talking about it from that perspective. So, and then we got good old leadership, baby. Lead lead us off. I love it. Even on the the leadership aspect, man, like, so through the course of my my career, you know, being in the military. And so when it comes to just leadership itself, there's so many people who are in leadership positions and and not just in the military, just... uh, across the board, different organizations, teams, businesses, that people are in positions to lead, but they're not effectively leading. And I think, again, going back to that connection, when it comes to relationships, that's essential. It's an essential piece. And so when you think about 
uh, people who we deem as successful leaders, the John Maxwells, the Simon Sinek's, et cetera, uh, they, they, they have a skill set, which is leadership. I mean, not, not just leadership. They have a skill set of connecting with people. And so I think that that's something missing. I think that, again, going back to the people that we'll be able to have guests on, our, our conversations, what we have inside of us, to be able to help people be more effective leaders, right? And so I remember when I used to lead a team or, or, or going back to when I was stationed in Mississippi, there was oftentimes I would I would share with my team is that, hey, if you are in a position to lead, lead with a purpose, right? And so, and not only that, if you're in a position to follow, follow with the purpose to lead. And so, man, I'm I'm really excited about the the L3 perspective, touching on the life, love, and leadership, man. But I know you have a lot of uh, experience in leadership. You have a lot of uh, coaching uh, or coaching other leaders. Uh, so just kind of want to hear your take on leadership as we gear up to, to take off uh, with the L3 perspective podcast. So, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> so six, you know, through my 16 years of being in the Air Force, you know, being working with teams around the world, you know, original job to to being eventually being a recruiter. You know, I always tell people had it not been for recruiting, I would not be where I was today, you know, just it, but embracing it. Right. Um, and that was because I had a good I had a good fight chief. I had a good leader. I had someone who, like, showed up. He trusted me. He allowed me to to grow, you know, and. I think that really, I was already in that environment where I was like, I was yearning for that. A lot of people think that people, a lot of people just don't care. It's not that they don't care. It's that they haven't found that element that, that puts that spark or like mm-hmm. they feel as those people uh, under don't understand them, right. all those type of things. And so, you know, like I was doing a coaching training earlier here on base. And one of the things that we were talking about was like, what are we doing to understand who we're talking to, you know, like, and how are we also, and how are we communicating that? Like, what are we bringing to the table with, you know, cause like one of the things is like, Oh, you know, um, I'm talking to somebody and I, I got to tell them four times to do this or do that. And I was like, okay, have you talked, have you sat down and asked them what works best for them? Hmm. Cause then realistically, and guess what? And let and allow them to tell you what, they feel works best for them as far as how they need to be led or want to be led, but also hold them accountable. That's the piece when it comes to leadership. I think everybody wants to talk about it, but the accountability piece is really where you show if that's the true intention, Mm -hmm. because it takes uh, hard conversations. You know, they, they help people a lot more than, than we understand that they do. And then like, what is that phrase? Like hard times, create strong men and soft times create soft men or something like that. Like it's that same mentality, but you can spread that across everybody. Like a lot, a lot of people are less aggressive to feedback if you know how to communicate it appropriately. And unfortunately everyone just assumes when you're talking to somebody or telling them something, they should just listen because you know better. Who who are you Doug? And I, so, so, so in, in long, I feel as though the major part of leadership is understanding that you are nobody. Mm. You are nobody. You are not special, but you can bring something special with you through human communication. That's the coach cam thing. (laughs) (laughs) I love it, man. And, and like I mentioned in the beginning, beyond grateful because of our synergy because of uh, you know what you have inside of you, and I, I again I believe that this will be great not just for us right we're gonna ha- we're gonna have phenomenal conversations I know it right but just being able with that one person can take take away from the, the the future guests that we have right and so whether it's from the life side whether it's from the leadership side whether it's from the uh, the love side you know what I mean so very grateful super excited to 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 launch L three perspective with you locking arms, collaborating, and adding value to people across the world. And so what was that? How did you do it? The L3 and then, let me see it. One, two, and you flip it over. I love it. Love it. L3 Perspective, guys, strap up is going to be a beautiful ride. Uh, the one thing I can promise you, uh, and kind of even not just to speak for Cam, uh, but also just say that the one thing you will get from this 
is value, right? And so Glenn Davis, Cameron Macias, L3 Perspective, we out.